Assalamualaikum and good morning. This video is a part of Fluid Mechanics 1. For the chapter of Fluid Static, the experiment that I choose is Hydrostatic Pressure. Before we proceed, my name is Nur Ele Atira binti Hashim. These are my details. Now, we start with introduction. The three key elements that I'm going to explain is Hydrostatic Pressure, Hydrostatic Force, and Center of Pressure. What is hydrostatic pressure? It is basically a pressure exerted by a fluid at equilibrium due to gravity force. And the fluid is also known as hydrostatic fluid. Hydrostatic force is the resultant force caused by the pressure. And the center of pressure, also called CP, is the point on the immersed surface that the resultant hydrostatic force acts upon. This is not the centroid. Theoretically, the resultant force is equal to the magnitude of pressure at centroid multiplied by the total area. These are the theory equation and also the center of pressure equation. The Ix should be replaced inside here. There are two objectives in hydrostatic pressure lab, which is first to determine the hydrostatic force on plane immersed when the surface is partially or fully submerged. The second one is to verify the accuracy of equation of the center of pressure by comparing the experimental value to theoretical value. Now we proceed with methodology. The basic concept of this experiment is by making sure the moment on the balance arm reach equilibrium by adding the water into the tank. The moment is produced by the way applied here and also the hydrostatic force on the vertical face. This is a simplified version of procedure. Firstly, we have to position the balance arm on the knife edge and place the way hanger on the end of the arm. The arm should be leveled by the counterbalance. Next, add 50 gram of weight and add water into the water tank. After that, you should record the water height using the scale here. And repeat the step by adding 50 gram of weight each time until 500 gram. The experiment is then reversed by removing 50 gram each time and all the data should be tabulated. Now, I will show the setup of the experiment. This is a real-life figure of Amphil F112 hydrostatic pressure apparatus. The other component is stated by the label. We have reached the result of the experiment. Before that, I want to give a little disclaimer that the data shown is the sample data from past experiments since I can't go to the lab and do the experiment physically due to global pandemic. Tabulation of data your data table should consist of mass, the average depth of water when weight is added and removed, the hydrostatic force and distance to center of pressure, both experimentally and theoretically, and also the different percentage difference between the two. As you can see here, uh, the percentage difference for force is quite low, while the percentage difference for center of pressure is quite high. In order to calculate the hydrostatic force, the measurement from earlier procedures should be added into these two formula that we derived from the theory equation. So these two formula is the formula to calculate the distance to center of pressure that we also derive from the theory equation. Now we proceed with discussion. The graph here show that the hydrostatic force increases linearly as the average depth increasing for both partial submerged and fully submerged and also the distance to center of pressure also increasing linearly to the average depth in partial and fully submerged. This two graph is a comparison between experimental and theory value of distance to center of pressure. As you can see, the differences is quite high. So now let's discuss. The hydrostatic force is actually counted by the mass added to the hanging arm. Also, the curved area on quadrant gives some type of resistance to hydrostatic force. That's why there are larger increment in the force after breaking up a plane of vertical phase. Finally, we're at the conclusion. By comparison, the experimental hydrostatic force is very identical to the theory value. 
However, there might be error in the distance to the center of pressure as the percentage difference is as high as 50%. The experiment also proved that the deeper we go into the water, the bigger the force applied and so does the pressure. That's all from me. Thank you.